Hey everybody, this is Meyer, and in this video, what I wanna do is show you how you can keep your synthesizer presets in sync across multiple different computers. And this is really helpful if you basically, you have a home computer and then a studio computer, or you have a studio computer and then a laptop you take on tour with you. Basically, you wanna make sure all your presets are always in sync for your different synthesizers and effects. And the way we're gonna do this is with symbolic links. So on Mac, we're gonna download this program called Symbolic Linker. On Windows, you can create symbolic links as well but this is gonna be the way that I do it for Mac. So if you're on Windows, look at how to create symbolic links. Um, there should be some application. Now you can do this from the command line. You can do this for the command line on Mac or Windows, but I prefer to use this program called Symbolic Linker, and I'll have a link to this program in the description. It's this one here from Mac Update. So I'm just gonna go ahead and download it. And when it downloads, basically we'll put it in here and I'll just go ahead and open it. Now, what you need to do is you need to put this in your library services folder. So what I do is Mac HD. One way you could do this is go and hold down the, I believe the alt key and you, you will be able to see your, your main computer. And I'm gonna go ahead and hide these. And you wanna go to library and look for your services folder. Now, if there's not a folder, you will have to make one. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm gonna just call this services. And what I'm gonna do here is copy this symbolic linker here into services, and then I'm going to open it for the first time. And when you do this, what you'll notice is now under services, there is this option that says make symbolic link, and this is what we're gonna use. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go find where my serum presets are located. I'm gonna do this for serum to show you how this works. So the first thing you wanna do is locate where your presets are for the synth that you want to move. So in my case, I'm going to just type in serum. Here it is, right here. And menu, open preset location, show serum presets folder. Here it is. So this is where it is on my computer. And what you wanna do is take this folder and basically move the, the preset parts that you want somewhere onto a shared like a local, local storage. So I use Dropbox, so I'm gonna put it here in Dropbox, but you can, if you use OneDrive or something else, something that allows you to keep your files in sync, iCloud Drive will work as well. And you wanna basically move the folders in there. Now I've already done this. So basically you're gonna take this and for the ones that you wanna have, um, so I have effects change, LFO tools, noises, presets, all of these things. If you notice in my presets folder, I have a lot of preset packs. So once you've done this, once you've moved them, um, what you want to do and what this will look like once you do this is something like this. So these are the folders, the six fold or the five folders that I'm going to be using. You're, it's going to look like this. So you're not going to have the folders. And now what you want to do on all the computers that you want to have reference this location, you want to right click on these folders and under services, click make symbolic link. And you're, you'll see it has this little arrow. Now the symbolic link is different than an alias, it's actually a direct reference to this particular folder. So it's not a shortcut, it's actually directly referencing this folder even though the actual folder is here. So we're gonna do that for each of these that I wanna move over. So LFO shapes, noises, presets, and tables. So I have them all here. I'm gonna drag these sim links into where the original presets are. Now, if you notice here, these things are actually referencing, you can tell they're referencing Dropbox because they have the little circle icons here. So these sim links are directly referencing, but what we need to do is rename these folders so they don't have the sim link at the end. You can't do it in this folder, it would be basically the same name, but because these are sim links, we're going to do it this way. So just name them this way and the tables. Very cool. So now what I'm gonna do is close Serum and open it and it may take a second. So let me go ahead and delete it and drag it back. So we'll put Serum back. And now when it opens, I have all of my folders here in sync and they're always gonna stay in sync because I'm using Dropbox to basically create this symbolic link. So if you do this just with an alias or a shortcut, it's not gonna work. But the reason this works is because it basically provides a tunnel. So Serum is looking here for these folders and 
your operating system is basically saying, oh yeah, this folder, it's actually over here. So it, it links to the folder that's here in your shared drive. And now if I save a preset or I load a preset into this shared folder, it's by default gonna show up here. So this is the way I keep my presets for all of my different plugins in sync. I think it's a really cool way to do it and you avoid any of these issues that happen. Now, one thing I will mention is you only really wanna do this with the preset folders that you care about. Any of the system stuff, you don't wanna just put this whole, um, I, I wouldn't put the whole folder here, I guess you could, but for some synthesizers, they rely on specific system things. So honestly, just where it's looking for the FXB files or any of the sort of preset files in particular, the preset folders, um, that's where I would basically do it if you want to keep them in sync. So, you know, you do the same thing here with any of these other ones. Basically, I can go to Diva. These are my Diva synth. So I go to Diva. This is the folder here that's called Diva. So I'm just going to drag this folder to the trash, right click, make symbolic link under services, drag it in here, and then just rename it to the correct thing. And now likewise, when I open up Diva, Let's go ahead and do that. Boom. When this opens, I can look here to my presets and I can see all of those folders that I have basically stored here on Dropbox. Um, so anyway, I hope you found this video helpful and uh, be sure to keep all your stuff in sync. It'll help you be organized. All right, thanks, have a good one.